This is the Beacon Mix Create. It's a powerful audio control for content creators. Personally, I'm not a fan of having giant control boards taking up room on my desk, so right out of the box I was happy with the overall size and simple design. I'm going to do my best to give you most of the basic info without diving too deep into everything this thing can do. Being a streamer, having a tool like this is extremely beneficial. No more tabbing over to OBS in the middle of a game to adjust volume levels. Everything is right in front of me and easy to control. The USB-C cable that comes with this device is only 6.5 feet long, so if you need some more length than that, I highly recommend you order it along with this device. And of course we have to hear what the buttons sound like. Once you download the Beacon software, you just plug in the device and you're good to go. Give it just a second. Looks pretty good. Oh shoot, I forgot to do the most satisfying part. Oh yeah. With the Beacon software pulled up, you can adjust the levels that you personally hear in your headphones or speakers by spinning these knobs. Clicking this bottom right button switches to what your audience hears so you can adjust the levels to what you'd like your stream to hear. This specific feature is what sold me to pick one of these bad boys up. You can click down the volume knob to mute the audio for yourself and click the button below to mute the audio for the audience. Another cool feature I found is the ability to long hold the knob down to switch from your headset to your speakers. For the microphone, I've selected my Wave XLR. The chat automatically picked up my Discord. Music, it picks up my Spotify, browsers, your browser system. Game is whatever you're playing, and the system is all the other sounds you hear. Down below, you can select your tracks. So, for instance, the VOD track. After you're done streaming and you don't want your music to be recorded, you just deselect the music section. You also have the ability to add a second set of headphones and microphone in case you have somebody sitting next to you while you're streaming and they want their own equipment. So here's an example in OBS. You would set your output just for your stream for track one to be your audience mix. That's all the audio. Then for your recording, you would do track two as your VOD track. That way you wouldn't have music in your VOD. You can even add individual separate sources straight from Beacon itself. So that way when you make your clips, they're all on different tracks and they're easier to edit in the future. Overall, I give this thing a 10 out of 10. I think it looks great in my streaming room, as you can see here, but you guys pick one up for yourself. Let me know what you think.